Hi guys! So today I'm going to be doing a fashion basics video for you and this video was actually a request. It was requested by Jackie and Jackie's been a longtime subscriber of mine and she's been commenting on my videos since the very beginning and I absolutely love chatting with her on my videos. She's so lovely and so nice and um, there are a lot of you who I absolutely love talking back and forth with and Jackie is one of those people. So when she specifically asked me to film this video, I knew I couldn't refuse. Um, this video is super super interesting because I actually if I were younger I would want to watch this kind of a video this video is gonna be all about what pieces you should have in your wardrobe when you're starting out all of the pieces I'm gonna be showing you today and there are eight of them are items where you can mix and match in any different way and you're always going to come out with a very fashion forward outfit. So it's a really great starting point for you if you're someone who maybe didn't buy their own clothes before. I know I didn't start really buying clothes for myself until I was in grade 9. So if you're someone who really hasn't played with fashion yet or you just kind of want a new wardrobe and you want to start out with the basics then this video is for you. So if you would like to see the 8 pieces that I think are absolutely necessary for starting out a new wardrobe then keep on watching. Now the first item that I think every girl should have in their wardrobe is a really good blazer. Now when I talk about a good blazer or a good pair of pants in this entire video, I'm not saying spend all of your hard earned money on this item. I just mean something that fits you really well and that's neutral and that you really really enjoy and that you can wear at any occasion. So I've got a couple blazers here that I wanted to show you. The first one is this one. This one I got from Forever 21 last season. And I, what I don't like about this blazer actually is the gold detail. I wish it didn't have it, but I do like the fit. It's a lot more relaxed and it's a thicker material. So I like that as well. It's nice for winter time. Um, the next two blazers are both from H&M. Um, and this one is another neutral. It's in gray. I absolutely love gray because I wear a lot of black. So if I don't want to be entirely in black, I can wear a gray blazer and it's still very neutral and I can get away with wearing my black pants and black t-shirt. So I really like this one. And the last one is for a hit of color. I've got this bright pink because hot pink is my favorite. And again, this was from H&M, same blazer as before, just in a different color and they were $24.99. Now a tip for you, if you want to kind of create more of a vintage vibe, you want a blazer that is a bit more unique and doesn't look as cheap, I I haven't done this to my blazers yet because I just haven't gotten around to it but it's a really good trick all you do is you replace the buttons so I this one you can tell it's just a plain old plastic button something that you could find in a kids craft bin um, and that is like the telltale sign of a very cheap blazer but if you go out to your goodwill or your grandma or mom's closet and you find an item that maybe isn't being worn or that is pretty cheap on sale that you might not like but you love the button just buy it take off the button and replace it because it's gonna create um, a unique vibe to your blazer no one's gonna have the same one and it's gonna make it look a lot more vintage and much more expensive than what it actually is. The second item that I think that every girl should have in their wardrobe is a good button-up blouse. So I'm wearing one today. Um, it is just this blue button-up. Um, I got it from Forever 21. It's in a cotton, very, very plain, but I like it. And when I got it, it was two years ago, and the style was to wear it completely, either completely unbuttoned with a tank top underneath, or to wear it partially unbuttoned. So it was unbuttoned down to the bust line. Now it's pretty in to wear it completely up buttoned right up to the collar or to have one button unbuttoned like I'm doing today and to wear a short necklace underneath the collar. So when you're looking for a blouse make sure you're looking for one that has buttons that go all the way up to the top so you have the option of either doing up all the buttons or leaving some undone. This one is different. It's actually much more different than this, but it's the same idea. It is hot pink, so the color is much more vibrant than the color I'm wearing today. It also is a bit more sheer. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see that because of the lights, but this one is completely opaque, whereas this one is sheer. You'd have to wear a tank top under it. This one has a cap sleeve as opposed to this one, which is um, three quarter length. And the fabric is also um, a lot less casual than this fabric because this is just a cotton. It's an extremely casual shirt, whereas this one's more of a polyester, so it's a little bit more formal. But either way, you can wear them very similarly. You can wear 
either one of these with a pair of distressed jeans or you can wear them a little bit more polished with a pair of black skinnies that I'll be showing you in a little bit. Now the third item that I think that every girl should have is a good pair of skinny jeans and the fourth item is a good pair of black jeggings. So the skinny jeans I have here are just very plain, they're dark wash. I'm actually wearing the exact same pairs right now um, and I have I think five of the exact same pairs of pants. These are from Forever 21 and they're $10.50 a pair so they're super super cheap but I like them personally because they fit me really well and they are softer. The, the denim is obviously a lot less expensive but that makes for a softer jean so it feels like a legging when I have it on. I can literally have these on all throughout the day and they don't bother me at all whereas my other more expensive jeans I find I want to get them off when I get home. And for black jeggings I have these ones here. These were from the bay and they do up with these little clasps as you can see and then the back has pockets. I would definitely find something that has pockets on the bum because A, it's a lot more flattering and B, if you don't, they'll definitely look a lot more like leggings instead of a pant. And you want them to look like a pant, but you want them to fit like a legging. They can be worn with anything. So you can wear these with an oversized sweater, you can wear these with a little dress, you can wear them with a shorter top. So these are just very, very versatile and would look good on anyone. Now, if you're someone who maybe feels like you can't get away with wearing the skinny jean, I was there. Uh, when they first came into style, I hated them and refused to wear them. So a good option for you if either you just don't feel comfortable in a skinny jean or you feel like your body type doesn't suit one is to get a straight fit jean. So what that means is that the size of the thigh is the same size all throughout. So it's the same size as the ankle as well. So it just looks very straight when you're looking at the person it makes you look very lean very thin and very very tailored so that is a really great idea for someone who doesn't want to wear the skinny jean but wants the same kind of look just look for a straight fit or a straight legged um, pair of pants so item number five that I think that every girl should have are loose fitting neutral tops so I've got two here the first one is just this black one um, it's a little longer in the back than it is in the front and this was two dollars from stitches on sale and this one is from H&M. It was um, $10 and it's just these stripes. So this is a pattern, but it's in a very neutral color scheme, obviously, with the cream and the black. Um, I think that these are great. They'll look good over any of the skinny jeans that I mentioned earlier. And skinny jeans really look a lot more proportioned with a looser top. So definitely go loose. I think that it's very, very flattering on anyone and you can eat up all those donuts and sweets and not have to worry about a tight top. So definitely go for something looser. And if you get things in neutral colors, you can wear them in any season and you can wear them with absolutely anything. So they're definitely going to be something that's a lot more worn in your wardrobe than something that's a really bright color. Item number six that I think that you should have are colorful scarves. Now I've got two here to show you. This one was from Primark and it's just a really, really big colorful scarf. It's got these flowers in teal, cranberry, mustard, and other jewel tones. And I have this one. This one I've actually had since I was um, in grade 10. This was just this purple plaid and it always looks really cute in the springtime with a black, um, just a regular black top or white top. So these will look really great with those neutrals I was just talking about. So you can wear those black skinny jeans, you can wear the cream top or the black top, and you'll look really, really dreary until you throw on one of these scarves and it will just give you a pop of color. And it's a bit cheaper of an alternative to add color into your wardrobe than buying tops. Scarves usually run about five to $15 at their cheapest and tops usually 20 to 30. So you can generally find a few more of these in bright color. Item number seven that everyone should have is a good black black flat. So you can wear a ballerina flat or you can wear a pair of boots. Um, here I've got these Oxfords. These were three for ten dollars. I just recently got them at our dens. So if you're in Canada you can get these as well and they fit like almost flip-flops. Like they're not very sturdy that way but that doesn't bother me at all. I mean they're three for ten dollars so who cares. And yeah these are just really really cute matte black. They will look good with anything. I also have these boots, so if you want to wear a flat boot instead of wearing a flat shoe because it's a little bit cooler, then these are cute. These ones are combat boots, so um, their style is pretty trendy. I'm sure I won't be wearing these next season, but because they were just a matte black, they really looked great with absolutely anything I wore this season. Just any black shoe will really look good with absolutely anything you're wearing and any of the basics that I've shown here. 
So last but not least, item number eight, or items, is some really great accessories. So I wanted to take a second here and talk about another one of my wonderful subscribers. Her name is Reshma, and she is from India, and she sent me a whole bunch of pictures of all of the jewelry that she owns. Her and I have been talking back and forth, and I absolutely love talking to her. So hi, Reshma, and thank you again for those great pictures. What I loved about that is that she kept all of her jewelry. So she had things there that she had gotten when she was a lot younger, she had things that were a lot more recent, she had things that were really cheap, and she had some of her most expensive jewelry all kept in one spot, and I thought that, that was a great idea. Um, case in point, here is a necklace. It was a dollar. I got this at a store I was at, and they had a bunch of their um, jewelry that they couldn't sell on sale, and I got this two years ago. Now, two years ago, it was a lot more fashionable to have um, longer necklaces that had like a bunch of danglies on it and so I really had nowhere to wear this and I felt like it was out of place for me to wear it and so I never wore it but I kept it and now it is really really stylish to have a chunky necklace that is short and so this really works well I like it I think it looks great sitting underneath this collar and I'll definitely be wearing it a lot more now and so something like this is really great to have jewelry doesn't take up that much space and it's also a really nice thing to look back and remember when you got things or why you got things, who gave you certain pieces, and um, just to see like how your style has changed, especially with the cheaper jewelry because those things are really very, um, very in the moment style. Like something like this was a dollar. I've gotten so many Forever 21 necklaces and bracelets for two, three, four, five dollars. So those things, it's nice to keep them unless they're tarnished or broken because then you can look back and see what you used to wear. And when things come back in style, it's a really great way to reuse that jewelry that you once loved. So I definitely love jewelry and love accessories. So the next piece of accessory I think is really important besides jewelry are sunglasses. Now sunglasses, if you have on like the black skinnies I showed you with those pair of Oxfords, maybe that striped top that I showed you with the black blazer, and then a really big pair of oversized glasses, you look stylish. And that can be worn for errands or you can wear that out um, for a night on the town. Um, I guess not a night or else you wouldn't be wearing sunglasses, but like a day lunch or if you're going out shopping or whatever it is, sunglasses are really, really great and you can get them pretty cheap. So these ones were $8 and they were from Forever 21. These ones I got in London, they're my favorite aviators I've ever owned and I really, really like them. A good pair of aviators will always come in and out of style so they're great to have. And these ones are fun because they've got the leopard along the side. So just a pair of aviators. And I have these as well, big oversized black glasses. And these ones are fun because they have the flower detail on them as well. So that was it. That was my fashion basics video. I hope you enjoyed this. Please comment down below if you have any requests for me. And Jackie, I hope you found this video helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.